guys, you can see we've been doing a bit of tinting on the windows. It's the first time I've ever tried doing window tinting. Um, it's pretty crap, really. <laughs> there you can see there. Tinted, non-tinted. windows open and one not tinted and she's uh, definitely made it heaps darker in here. Main idea is uh, trying to keep the heat out and obviously a bit of privacy. There you go guys you can see we've been doing a bit of tinting on the windows. It's the first time I've ever tried doing window tinting. There you can see there tinted non-tinted Big difference. So that's the bathroom one done. Looks pretty good. Yeah, so we've tinted uh, obviously this side. Big difference. Still got this side to do. You'll see uh, a bit of glare on that glass already. And it's only uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So uh, big difference of a uh, window tint. Today in Showed the wife a couple of pictures of the window tint and uh, yeah, expressed to her how, um, how it's probably one of the shittiest jobs I've had to do on the bus. Um, like with the wallpaper, I found that easy to lay, and uh, yeah, a lot of other stuff comes natural, but uh, yeah, doing window tint, I don't think I'll be able to do that for a living. I explained to her that it's like. Yeah, it's like trying to put glad wrap nice and smoothly on a bit of glass. <laughs> That's that shit. But uh, I've done a couple couple windows. Uh, one I had to screw up, pull it off and put it in the bin. Um, there's uh, yeah, a few air bubbles and you know, I'm pretty pretty happy with the outcome. But yeah, there's they're obviously not perfect, but uh, but yeah, for 50 bucks and install it myself, can't go wrong. Even if it lasts a couple of years, at least I can, uh, but then I can afford to get someone professional to come out and put someone probably, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this bit of paint here uh, just to show you how I did it. If you're a professional, comment below and let me know what I did wrong. Because um, yeah, I don't think I'm doing it 100% right. Uh, there'd be a few ways to do it, but this is how I did it. And uh, happy with the outcome. Uh, Could have been worse anyway. Let's get cracking. Yeah, the first thing to do is pretty much get a rough measurement of your window. Let's go through that. Seven hundred, uh, five fifty, so yeah, now I've got that bit, I'm going to, just going to put it up against the window and roughly cut it to size, so obviously it's a bit longer than when I made it. So it's just slightly bigger than the window. Um, so yeah, let's put it on. So yeah, before we even started putting the tint on, we had to go along and um, use a scraper, like so, and some uh, either some cleaning agent or Whoop. yeah, so either some uh, glass cleaner or some uh, baby shampoo mixed with water 
either way, even just water will do. But yeah, you need some fluid on there. Just go along and scrape clean all the window. Make sure there's no uh, debris and all that sort of crap. So yeah, the tools that we've been using to do window tinting is a squeegee. It's got a nice little squeegee here. A scraper for cleaning the windows. Got an old shirt that I've just been using to mop up excess water. Got some scissors to cut, cut the um, tin. Obviously you need a roll of tin. And uh, I bought a spray bottle and I've just got a baby shampoo mixture of water. Um, they, they say to use um, baby shampoo instead of um, Windex and that because Windex has got a chemical in it and might react with a the actual tin or film itself. So uh, yeah, baby shampoo mixture is the way to go. And then we've got a sharp Stanley knife. So once you've uh, applied the tin, you've got to go along and trim the edges nicely. So uh, get cracking and show you how to do it. How, how, how I do it anyway. Probably not the right way, but at least you're going to get tint on your windows. Before you apply any tint, first thing to do is go along, scrape off any debris through the whole window, like so. Make sure you've got it. Make sure you've got all the little imperfections, dust particles, all that sort of crap. But yeah, I've already previously done that. So all I'm going to do is put a baby shampoo formula on it. And one of the shittiest jobs I've found. One of the shittiest jobs of this, for me anyway. Trying to get there's a clear film that you need to take off. I don't know if it's my big fingers or if it's just a shit job, but I always have drama trying to get it off. water on that. You sort of got a bit of play with pulling it and making it as good as you can. But uh, so once you've got it to that sort of stage, you've got it stuck on there, you see a few air bubbles, just keep the outside quick spray. Makes your squeeze you run a bit smoother. And then you sort of want to wait from that from the middle out. So I always start here and Push the air bubbles up. Same thing, just go all the way to the edge, pushing, pushing the air bubbles out. Not sure if you can see the air bubbles there, but we're just slowly pushing them all out. So you pretty much push them. Up. Pushing the water and the air bubbles out at the same time. Like I said, I'm no professional. As the people that know what they're doing, it's probably they can already tell. <laughs> but I'm quite happy with how most of the windows have turned out. 
like I said, the, I brought the roll of uh, brought the roll of a uh, window tent off our local buy and sell page for fifty bucks. So for fifty bucks, I'm tinting the whole bus by doing it myself. Win win, I reckon. So yeah, with the sharp Stanley knife, just go right down the edge. So yeah, once you've got it to that stage by using your sharp Stanley knife, you can just quickly or slowly go back over it because you're going to end up with a few more bumps in there where the water's come back down. So you just give it a bit more of a squeegee. This one's probably worked out to be one of my better ones. So yeah, once I'm up to that stage, just mop up the excess fluid and water and stage when you've cut the edges you've still got a bit of excess water on that that won't come come off it didn't come off easy for me even by uh, using a rag around the edge it still wants to sit there and uh, ruin how perfect the tint will sit on the glass so what I do is I use a heat gun and I just sort of dry the excess water around the edges and then um and then I find I just squeegee that last little bit so uh, that's what I'm gonna do if you are gonna use a, a heat gun just to dry the water off um, just don't go too close or get too hot because you might um, shrivel the, the tint up or you might even burn a hole in it. Um, and yeah, it's bloody hot. <laughs> so don't touch it. Accidentally touch my elbow. And the glass has only taken us, I don't know, 20 minutes to put on. So obviously the sun hasn't moved too far or too much in that time. Um, so you should remember how much glare was coming out of that that one window uh, before we started doing this but yeah that glare is totally gone now um, like now now these six bits of glass in the living area kitchen is done I've got two windows open it's got a nice comfortable filter um, so you can definitely feel that just keep the sun out just going to keep our temperature down in the bus and uh, yeah, happy days. I'll uh, bring you over and show you this one I've done. And uh, yeah, hopefully you've learnt something from me. But if not, uh, head on over to some other YouTube videos on how to do window tint. They might be a bit more professional, but this is how we did ours. You can. Um, you can see that there's a little bit of lifting in the corner there. I'm just gonna just gonna re squeegee the edges, try to get that little bit of water out there. Um, it's hard to tell, but there is a couple of little. 
You can see it there on the cage on the trailer there around that area. There's a couple of little oh, there we go, you can actually see them better enough. A couple of little um air bubbles there, I could possibly try and work them out to the edge and then I noticed over here somewhere yeah there we go I didn't quite didn't quite get um all the crap off when I cleaned it but yeah that's that's if you want to get real picky but if you um stand back and have a look you know she's uh She's done my job. Darker in there. A heaps bloody cooler as well. Give you a little tour. So yeah, obviously we've done in here like you've already seen. You can see it's changed the, the outlook of the inside. Looks pretty cool. But yeah, done the, done the shower toilet. And then you, you'd be able to remember how uh, bright it was in here before. But yeah, done the Main bedroom as well. Yeah, it blocks out quite a lot of the sun. Happy days. Alright guys, don't forget to drop a comment below, uh, press the subscribe button and uh, also that notification bell. Obviously uh, every time we upload our video, if you press that notification bell, you're going to get notified. Yeah, obviously if you press that notification bell, you're going to get notified. If you press that notification bell, you're going to get notified. Press that notification bell, you're going to get notified when we upload new videos. So yeah, don't forget to press that one. And uh, yeah, click the like and uh, try to comment. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. see you on the next one. Drive safe and take it easy.